Our pastor is Brother Lydia over here. Yes, Lord. We are in secret for more than a month. Yes, sir. Lord, that we will yield to your wisdom and to knowledge and understanding of your word, Father. Amen. And that must be attended to your own word and do our yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Christ's name I pray. Yes, Amen. What a friend we have in Jesus. This morning, we just praise God. Everyone is here this morning. So glad to see everyone here this morning. We're so grateful to see everybody making out to another Sunday morning, September already. Amen. September. So let's give God the praise for another month. Amen. So we just thank God for another month. We thank God 
for making it through another month. God has been so awesome to yes. us, and we just thank God for making it through another month. So we just uh, praise God for uh, allowing this month is flying through so fast. So we just thank God for the privilege of allowing us to get here. So I just thank God, first of all, for you being here this morning and allowing us to assemble ourselves together this morning. Uh, we may not have no music, but we can harmonize this morning. So I heard the male chorus this morning singing this morning. So we just thank God we're going to sing together. Amen. The word says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. And we're going to sing unto the Lord this morning out of the depths of our heart. And as we get ready for our call to worship, we want us to get ready to get our hearts and minds ready to sing and praise to the Lord yes, this morning. Yes. Because I want you to know something. It's important for us to get our lives and our heart and our minds set on praising God this morning. So let us get ready as we get ready to do our responsive reading this morning. Uh, let us, uh, if, I hope you have a program this morning. I'm having a little computer issue this morning with my uh, laptop. So let us uh, get ready for our responsive reading coming from Psalms 138. Psalms 138, if you would stand for our responsive reading. Psalms 138 coming from 1 through 8. Psalms 138 coming from 1 through 8. Uh, New King James Version, so as we get ready uh, to read this morning, it's a, a very familiar uh, passage of scripture and we're going to get ready to read it together this morning. So hopefully you have a bulletin this morning. It reads as follows. <clears throat> it reads that I will, I will praise you with my whole heart before the God I will sing praises to you. I will worship for your holy temple and praise your name for your love and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all my name. In the day when I cried out, you answered me uh -huh. and made me bold with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. Yes, they shall sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, I you will revive me. You will search out your hand. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemy, and your right hand will save me. All. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. You do not forsake the works of your hand. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Because you need to know as a child of God that God will perfect that that concerns you. So if you've got something that's concerning you today, you need to know that God will take care of you. Amen. God will take care of you. He will perfect that. He will take care of you. So we just thank God that God will always take care of us. God will perfect that. And I love the fact that God takes care of us. And I love the fact that God always got us in his care. Amen? Amen. So we just thank God this morning that God got us in his care. We're going to ask that we do a congregational song. So we ask that someone would lead us in a congregational song at this time. And then we're going to get ready for our announcements. Praise him. Praise Him, praise Him, praise Him, Jesus, Jesus. 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 Praise Him, praise Him, praise 
Praise the Lord. Yeah. We don't got too dependent on a lot of yeah. things, y'all. That's right. Not yeah. in the big places. Well, they have church. Yeah. With no yeah. Yeah. You know, they have church to be few in numbers, but the Lord is in the midst. Yeah. It all depends on who you brought with you. Amen. Okay? It all depends on how you came prepared for worship today. But this is the day that the Lord is Affected by COVID, 
So right. please keep those people in mind, not just that, but all the healthcare workers. You know, we're experiencing a shortage in that area. So please pray for that particular uh, occupation. Our towns, town of Maplesville, Jefferson, Clant, we need to pray for those people who are in authority, our mayors and the councilmen, this state, this nation, and its leaders, those that are in jail and in prison, all others that are sick and shut in, in hospitals and nursing homes whose names we do not know. Amen. And on our bereavement list, we must still continue to keep the worthy family in our prayers. They are, they're part of this church, so let's continue to reach out and pray for them and pray for their strength. Amen. These are your announcements. Amen. 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 Please uh, continue to uh, keep all those in our prayers, uh, especially those that are supporting uh, all our families that are sick and shut in, please keep, it, keep them in mind uh, as you support those. Please, please, please uh, see after them. Uh, it's very important that you uh, keep them in mind during their time. Uh, we're going to ask that uh, we get ready for tithes and offering at, at this time. Ask the officers to come. It's time to give. I believe Malachi said that best will a man rob God, yet we rob God in tithes and offering every, every Sunday morning. There's a hold up in the church. I won't say we rob God because I try to give God what's new him. Amen. So as, at this time, let us come rendering what's new God this morning in tithes and in offering this morning. Let us render what's do God this morning. Amen. Um, you can't be God's gift, no matter how hard you try. So let us come get it this morning, tithes and offering. Um,
Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 So we're going to ask for a congregation of song again, and then we're going to do just a small portion of God's amazing grace. Amen. Then I want you to turn with me, if you would, to the book of Luke, chapter 9. The book of Luke, chapter 9. The book of Luke, chapter 9. Amen. On my way home oh.
truly thank you for the privilege of coming before your throne of grace once again, Lord. Lord, I ask that you would allow me to go down into your storehouse of wisdom and knowledge once again to preach your word, Lord God. I ask that you would use me, Lord God, as molten clay, Lord God. Help me to preach your word, God, uncompromising, Lord God. Help me to preach to your people, Lord God, that one would come crying, what must I do to be saved, Lord? Help me to help someone change the direction that they're headed in, Lord, to make up their mind to live for you, Lord. Lord, most of all, help us, Lord God, to be committed to the cause of Christ, Lord God, in all that we do and say. And Father, when all is said and done, we want to make certain that we give you all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Now, Father God, I look to the hill for which cometh my help. I realize that all of my help cometh from the Lord who made both heaven and earth. Now the flower withereth and the grass fades, but the word of the Lord remaineth forever. Yes. And the yes. church yes. says, yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. If you would, in chapter 9 of Luke, chapter 9 of Luke, if you would, journey right down with me to verse number 57. Verse number 57. Verse number 57. Verse number 57 begins with the, in the New King James Version that says, Now it happened as they journeyed on the road that someone said to him, Lord, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds have the air and have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And then he said to another, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go bury my father. And he said to him, Let the dead bury their own dead. But you go and preach the kingdom of God. Yes. And another also said, Lord, I will follow you, but let me first go and bid them farewell who are all at my house. And Jesus said to him, No one having put his hand to the plow and look back is fit for the kingdom of God. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. If I could, Pleasant Hill, I want to talk for just a few minutes. For just a few minutes, I want to talk about the cause mm -hmm. of fellowship. I want to talk about the cause of fellowship. Oh, Tell your neighbor, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you something. A lot of us, a lot of us, we have to admit, thank you, ushers, for being in your places. Thank you. God for my wife being with me today. So good to see you, Reverend and Sister Swindle and Reverend Clay being here today and all of you, all the deacons, all of our visitors being here. Following Jesus is going to cost yes, sir. you yes, sir. something. Yes, sir. You think you're going to be able to do it and just walk with him and Follow him. If you say you're going to follow him, it's going to cost oh, you something. Yeah. All of these folks said that they were going to follow him, but yeah. you know, they want to follow him at their convenience. Okay. You, can't, you can't follow Jesus at your convenience. Okay. You, you got to follow him when he says, 
follow him. And that's what a lot of us in our lives today, we want to follow when we want to follow. We want to go when we want to go. We want to go when it's convenient for us. And most of us, if we tell the truth, it never get convenient for us to follow the Lord. The, the, the church never did this morning that it never get convenient for us to follow the Lord. I don't care. You can put it online. You can take it to their house. You can put it in the community. You can make it at 2 o'clock. You can make it at 9 o'clock. I don't care when you do it. You will never Make it convenient enough for them to be there. I'm just being real with you. You just say, well, well, Pastor, maybe we're too early. Maybe we're too late. Maybe, maybe it's too hot. Maybe it's too cold. You ain't gonna never. You ain't gonna never get it just right. Some folks always gonna have a excuse to why. They can't go. Yes, well, Pastor, you know my car was dirty. Yes. <laughs> you done saw them out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You done saw them out there washing yes. their car. They could have washed their car after church. Yes. Matter of fact, it's going to rain, so it really ain't going to matter. Yes. See, uh, they, 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 they come up with all kinds of excuses to why. You know, I, I gotta cook dinner. Yes. yes. I, I I I gotta get, you know, supper ready. You cook dinner after church. Right. We ain't gonna be down here all day. Just come on. We just just see you matter of fact, you can go to Jack's and get two meals. Quick, get in line, get out and be back. It ain't gonna take us all day. You coming up with excuses why you can't go now. See, because of fellowship don't cost you something. All right. Amen. And see, a lot of us, we want the convenience to go whenever we get ready. Yes, yes. We want to go when we get ready. Here in the text, Jesus is going to cut through the chase. Oh, yeah. With some of these folks, he's going to let them know, really, 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 yeah. really, you just really talking with forked tongue. You said it, but you don't mean it. And we got a lot of folks that get up and make big time talk. Hello, somebody. I talk to the light. Do we get up and make big time talk? We, we get up and talk about what all we going to do, but when the rubber meets the road. Pastor, I'll go with you. I'll go out there with you. And then we tell them to meet us down here at 10 o'clock. And I show up and get here. Ain't nobody here. I'm just calling it like it. T.I. Oh, I know. I, I may not come back next week. I may not even be here. Mm. I don't care. I'm just going to tell it like it is. Yes. The cost of fellowship yes. going to cost you something. Yes. And see, a lot of times, we will not do what God has asked us to do for the simple reason it's going to cost us a little something. Amen. Amen. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Here the pastor, what 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 are you talking about? It's gonna cost me something. something. See, here in the text, Jesus, he wasn't even concerned about having a place to live. That's right. And sometimes we get towed up. Yeah. Yeah. He said, he, 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 he said, listen, foxes have holes. Yeah. Yeah. Birds have yeah. air and nests. But the Son of Man, what, what, what was Jesus' house? Somebody give me the address. Hello, somebody. Somebody give me the address. He never 
never talked about where he stayed at. He never talked about where he was going to abode. He never was concerned about the cares of this world. But sometimes we get so wrapped up, tied up into this life issue that guess what? We cannot. Thank you, Jesus. And it's okay to look out for tomorrow. But you be careful. You be careful that you don't obey God looking out for tomorrow. He said, listen, 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 listen. Jesus said, if I'm not worried about tomorrow, you shouldn't worry about tomorrow. Amen. He said, he, he, he said, listen, listen, if I ain't worried about the but he, he, he said, if I'm not worried about the cares of this world, you don't need to worry about it. Right. Yes. Yes. I am your father. Yes, yes. And I'll take care yes, of you. Yes, God said, I will provide. Yes, yes, yes. And we have to trust him because listen, if we follow him. The cost on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yes. Listen, listen. Yes. The cost of fellowship, the first thing we have to do, we got to be unlike this first guy. Mm -hmm. And you, it, it, if you're not careful, you'll, you'll slide away and miss this first guy. Mm -hmm. you, you hear me? You'll miss this first guy because he kind of slipped. Because it's actually three guys in the text. You, you, if, if you don't if you don't read too fast, if you're not careful, you'll miss the first guy. Because see, he kind of slide away. Just kind of overlooks Jesus. But see, the first guy, what he said, he said, Lord, he said, now it happened that someone said, someone, just, just, just anybody. He said, Lord, I'll follow you wherever you go. Now that's a bold statement. Mm -hmm. Kind of sounding like old Peter, don't it? Yeah. Say, Lord, wherever yeah. you go, yeah. Yeah. I'll go. Mm -hmm. Now that's making a bold statement. Wherever you go, Lord, I'll go. Mm -hmm. and, and listen, there's some folks that stand up in the crowd and see that's when they want to be saved. My Lord, my Lord. Yeah. 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 Wherever you go, yeah. I'll be with you. Yeah. But when you're going, get yeah. tough. You know, when they start fighting and cutting, what will be there? Peter was out there. You know, oh, Peter, you, you want, no. So you have to be careful with folks that say, I'll be with you. I, yeah, he said, I'll follow you, but Jesus didn't know. Or Peter didn't know, but Jesus knew he knew. Yeah. But Peter didn't know he would be following him from a distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Peter followed him, but it was way off. Yeah, yeah. But Jesus let him know before the cross, before the sunset, yeah. you're going to deny me three times. Yeah. See, if God know us better than I know. See, this guy. Problem was, like most of us, he found it not convenient when he called. Right. See, he, he was like, well, Lord, you know, right now, the football game. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> you know, and it just about to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And Lord, Lord you, ain't, you ain't calling right. You ain't, I ain't got to go right now. Yeah. You, you know, but, but, but the Lord said, today? You know, can, will, will it be all right for a few more minutes? But the Lord said, let's go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see, a lot of us, we want to put off the day for tomorrow. Yeah. And see, that's what the enemy, that's Satan tactic. If yeah. he can get you to put it off for yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. You ever went through the house? You ever, you ever, and see, I, I, I may be telling off on myself just a little bit. 
You ever got up to pray mm -hmm. and went through the house? I, I got a ritual that I go through. I get up, just claim, I get up and, and I make coffee. And then I circle back and I go and pray. But if I do something outside of that ritual, it's mm -hmm. different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. If I go to go to the ironing board, uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, I, but I, I go to my computer in the office, my Lord. I'll be in there. That's right. If I, if I, turn, if, if I do anything yes. different. Yeah. Mm. If I pick up a clothes rack, Brother Paul, the next thing you know, I'm hanging up clothes, <laughs> folding <laughs> sheets, you know. <laughs> and, 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 see, and what Satan did about two hours later. Yeah, Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. man, it times me to go to work. Yeah. See what the enemy does. Yeah. He's a time yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. And see that little thing that you thought that you don't, you know, Lord, I, you know, I do it tomorrow. I do, I do it next week. He's a time stick. And see what this guy thought. He thought, he said, well, no, nah, I ain't quite ready. To and see what he does with church folks. He does with folks that come to church every Sunday. They think they in good standing with God, but they almost on the precipice of turning their life over to God and they almost they get up and they say, he said, do it next Sunday. All right, my Lord. Lord. You can pray. Oh, yeah. You'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And guess what? Next week, you never come. Yeah, yeah. All right. He wants you to put it on. And this young man right here, he then what you gotta know you gotta deny yourself. Yeah. What you gotta do is get up when God said, when the Lord calls you, drop what you do mm -hmm. and get up. Amen. I've learned that when God wakes me up in the morning and I roll over and see the clock, get up. Yeah. Because guess what? If I roll back over and don't Get what? Another hour done went by. I'm just being honest with you. Because the thing that you you need to know the devil is a time still. Because what will happen instead of you following him, now you get up, you're an hour late, now you rush. Now, now you gotta make up your mind, are you gonna spend time with God? Or are you gonna Spend time rushing, or you going yeah, yeah. your devotion time gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got to cut somewhere. So All guess right. what? Guess what we cut at? Yeah. We cut God. Amen. So he's a time still. Mm -hmm. So this guy said, he said, guess what? We just like Jonah. Mm -hmm. We do like Jonah. We think we'll go down. Mm -hmm. We'll go down to the river. God said, go left. Mm -hmm. We go right. You can't fool God. Amen. If God gives you directions <laughs> on which way you need to go, you better follow God. Amen. One of the things that we need to know is that, guess what? Following your own heart direction won't get you nowhere. Amen. When God gets us up and head us in, don't hesitate. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things as a Christian you cannot do, don't hesitate on God. Amen. Look what he did. The cost of fellowship can cost us way more than you think. When Jonah hesitated mm -hmm. to go to Nineveh, how much did it cost Jonah? Mm -hmm. Had Jonah went to Nineveh like he started to, because he still had to go to Nineveh. Had he went to Nineveh like he started to, that he ended up having to go to, guess what? He just cut his tree off. Yeah. But guess what? We won't go. The second thing that I found interesting about the second guy is that the cost of fellowship, he talked about in verse number 59, it was interesting that he made, mention. then another one said, he said to him, he said, follow me, 
But he said, let me first go bury my father. And at first when I read the text and heard Jesus' response in verse number 60, my, my, my. Jesus said to him, he said, let the dead bury their own dead. But when you go and go and preach the kingdom of God, one of the things I didn't understand, I thought his daddy was dead. But when you study the text, his daddy wasn't dead yet. He was waiting. His daddy was old. And of an old age and probably getting to the age where he thought he would die. And his daddy wasn't dead yet. So I thought that Jesus was being cruel and unkind. So now you understand the text a little bit better. But let me help you out a little bit more. The boy wanted to hang around because he thought our inheritance was going to be getting to that. And he didn't want to miss out just in case. That was going to be a hand now, and he wanted to make sure that he got his. So that was a little bit more to the text of what you read right here. It wasn't so much that he didn't want to go, but he wanted to hang around just a little bit longer with his daddy so that he could get his inheritance. So y'all, one of the things that you need to know, are you in it for what you really think that you're in it for? Are you in it because you love God? Oh, See, some folks in it for what they can get out of it. Yeah, yeah. This guy wasn't really in it because he really loved, he loved Jesus, but he didn't love Jesus that much. Because hmm. he wasn't going to lose his inheritance. But let me tell you, nobody has lost as much as God has lost. Amen. What you need to know is that when you study this text and understand this, this boy would have, have gained, God would have made certain that he lost nothing. Amen. But guess what? He probably lost everything because he didn't follow the Lord. Amen. Because the Lord told him, he said, what you need to do is go and preach the gospel. What you need to do is go and pre preach to the kingdom of God. But instead, he chased after riches. Y'all always remember, for the love of money. For the love of money. It's not that there's money in that, but for the love of money is the root of all. Of this guy right here had an unsigned motive, reason why he wanted to hang around the house. When you read the text, you're going to ask, yeah, that's pretty good. But then when you do some study of the text, this guy actually wanted to hang around. This oh, yeah. So then, Second Timothy two and four says, "No one engages in warfare." Yeah, yeah. I want you to think about this. No one engages in warfare, mm -hmm. entangles himself with the affairs mm -hmm. of this life, Amen. that he may please him mm -hmm. who enlists. As a son, mm -hmm. I want y'all to understand something. You brought nothing into this world. I want you to hear me well. Yeah. Yeah. I want you to hear me well, Pleasant Hill. You brought nothing into this world. Most certainly, you're going to take nothing Amen. out. Amen. I have told us time and time again the only thing that you will get will be. Two foot six by six foot block. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Amen. And you better hope the children, the grandchildren, the church, somebody keep it up. Mm -hmm. That's what you get. That's it. That's it. 
My thing is, don't get caught up on things here on this earth. Amen. Because one of the things that we know, we are land of our inheritance in heaven. Amen. Where moth and rust do and criminals do not break in. But where God protects. Because guess what? Don't lay up your stuff down here. He said, he said let, the, let the dead bury their own dead. There's going to be plenty of folks around to be able to bury. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God so that those that are hurting and lost can have eternal life. You want to do something worthwhile? Do that. But lastly, there's one more person mm -hmm. in the text. Mm -hmm. And there's that last person, my favorite person. Mm -hmm. This particular person is the one that said that he'll go or she'll go, but she said, they said, let me go and be at farewell to all those at my house. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know y'all can't we can't deal with them. Because you know how long they're gonna be gone. They're gonna be on what this is my favorite person, so they're gonna be on the goodbye too. They're gonna be going all through they, not only are they gonna be at the house, but they're gonna be all out in the backyard. They're gonna be in the neighborhood. They're gonna be saying bye to everybody. They're gonna find everybody they can find to the lane. Going on the mission. You know how it is. I, I never forget. I never, never forget. Uh, when me, me and my wife watch this, uh, this show, uh, who loves, who loves Raymond? I think it is. And and anyway, his wife always, every time they got ready to leave, he always had to tell her hour ahead of time before they got ready to leave, because she went on what he called the goodbye tour. <laughs> went, went, went around and spoke to everybody. When it's 30 minutes, hour later, he's speaking to everybody. And he, he said, he's just standing at the door. He's just standing at the door. And that's the way some of us here, we go and speak to folks we ain't never spoke to before. We, we, we speaking goodbye. We waving goodbye. Folks we don't even like, we waving goodbye to them. We on the goodbye to them. Jesus said, that's what this person right here, he said, Jesus said, I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for you to say goodbye to everybody. He said, if you want to be part of this process, let's load up and go. Come on and get ready, let's go, because guess what? I need you to come now. I need you to get ready and go because we need you to work now. The problem is, is, guess what? A lot of us, we want Jesus to wait on us. Yeah. We want him to wait till we get ready. Yeah. But I want to put you on notice today. When God comes back for you, there ain't going to be no way. When he calls your name, you going to answer. And when you answer ready or not, this is what I want you to know. Ready or not, house in order, business in order, stuff in order, whatever it is, whatever you left us done, God, go in the call. And you go answer. Whatever it is, whatever it is, you need to make certain that your household fails or in order, you need to get direction, you need to get understanding, we need to make certain. That's why one thing I tell everybody, make sure you got a will, make sure you got a trust, so that you got everything laid in order. Amen. This guy right here, he wanted to say goodbye to everybody. Uh -huh. Why? Uh -huh. It didn't matter. Jesus told him, he said, get what? If your house in order, you already said goodbye. All right. hmm. You said goodbye to your children. You tell your children goodbye. 
when your house is in order. Because Jesus sells them there. He said, listen, on the goodbye tour, he said, listen, no one having put his hand to the plow and look back. You can't plow looking backward. You got to look forward. You got to look forward. You got to look forward. It's because look, looking back means that you ain't fit. Means that you ain't paying God no attention. Means that you ain't caring more for the kingdom than you are for God. Meaning that you, guess what? You ain't worried about what you're sowing. You ain't worried about what you what you what you get ready to read. What you need to know is, guess what? You need to be breaking up the ground. You need to just be playing. Yes, sir. And y'all, yes. as a preacher of the word of God, you just got to fly the ground. Yes, you got to fly. You can't worry about whether or not folks receive or not. Sometimes you get upset. Sometimes you get concerned that folks ain't listening. But you got to fly the ground. You got to keep. You got to keep looking forward. You got to keep looking straight. You got to plow the ground because listen, you got to use every occasion to let the world know this is what the Lord said. Don't think about quitting. Don't think about giving up. I know when times get tough, when times get hard, you got to keep looking at the cross because I want you to think about it. Had Jesus. With, and he give it up when he got to the garden and he got ready to pray when he kneeled down to the Father and he said, Father, not my will, but let your will be done. He yes, never got up. He never got up and went up Calvary's hill and let him down into an old rugged cross. He never let him stood him up high and stretched him wide. He did never let him pierce him in his side. He did never hit his head in the locks of his shoulder. He did never die for you and I. He did never let him put him in the borrowed tomb. Early Sunday morning. Early Sunday morning. He got up. But you and I. But you and I. It's all about. It's all about. Hallelujah. It's a cause to it. Y'all, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you something. Y'all, sometimes I don't want to go. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want to go. I'm sweating, I'll tell you the truth. I tell you, darling, sometimes I'm tired. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'm big down. Sometimes yeah. I don't feel like going. Yeah. But I go because I know yeah. this is my calling. Yes. Yes. You got to go when you don't want to go. Yes. You got to go when you don't feel yes. like going. Yes. Not because it's my yes. job. Yes. But because it's my calling. Yes, and I don't know about you. If God has called you. Yes, yes, Lord. And you <laughs> are a disciple of the. Yes, yes. You ought to go. Yes, you ought to get up and follow him. Yes, All of us got jobs to do. Yes, and if you're not doing your discipleship job. Then shame on you. Yes, Doors of the church is open. Why the blood is running warm in your body? Yes, 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 you still got time yes, to follow him. Yes, yes, Why the blood is running warm in your body? You still got time. The cost of fellowship. Because I'm going to tell you, it's going to cost you something. Y'all, it's expensive. Amen. Go have to get out of that bed. You're going to have to go study from everybody else to went to sleep. You're going to have to go and labor when everybody else is enjoying themselves. Would that be one? 
God bless you. God keep you. Amen. 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 Let's get ready for communion this morning. We just thank God for all of you. Y'all, I tell you, every time I think about the cause of fellowship or discipleship, however you want to put it, mm -hmm. it's going to cost you something. Yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. And if you don't think it's going to cost you, if it's not costing you anything, then I would ask the question, are you one of these mm -hmm. folks that are not doing anything? Mm -hmm. Are you sitting on the sidelines and you just sitting there doing nothing? Because I'm telling you, it's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you some denying yourself. It's going to cost you going when you don't feel like going. It's going to cost you something. They can let us get ready.